this case here out of Chicago, quite sad. Uh, Arunab Preston, a 24-year-old uh, police officer, uh, was actually shot and killed uh, as she was uh, at her home. Um, now, what, the, what they're investigating, uh, Matt, in Chicago, is why did it take cops 30 minutes to respond to the shooting after the uh, shot cam detected that shots were fired in the area. Uh, four uh, African-American men, were teenagers, were actually arrested uh, for her murder. Apparently, they had gone on a... Go ahead and show the photos, folks. Apparently, they had gone on a robbery spree, uh, and she was... Uh, the th three individuals, I'm sorry. She was one of the victims. Again, a 24-year-old sister uh, who, um, again, uh, shot and killed uh, and uh, saw a news conference, uh, Matt, where her, we'll try to find a video where her mother uh, was just uh, stricken by it and said she actually felt sorry uh, for those young men. This here is a photo of that 24 year old officer, Ms. Preston. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, obviously heinous and it's obviously indefensible. And what's layered uh, on top of just the, the clear facts here is the fact that we're talking about juveniles. We're talking a 14-year-old child um, doing this. And obviously, children can be charged as adults, and children can can understand, uh, to some extent, gravity of those crimes. But, you know, the system has a whole different uh, approach to juvenile prosecution than it does adult prosecution because of what we understand about neuroscience. So I say all that to say what's especially sad here is you have three young men um, who committed this heinous crime. What happened to this woman is obviously the most important part of this. But a corollary to that is you have three young lives that are, are now gone, and it makes you have to do an examination of the circumstances that put them there, the circumstances of systems that are failing them holistically, and it culminates in things like this heinous shooting. Um, and I hope that they're, they're brought to justice, but I also hope that there is uh, appropriate response and that we look at the systemic causes of what causes this kind of uh, conduct. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. We talk about blackness and what happens in black culture. We are about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause too long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Check some money orders. Go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 